Hi guys, this is Shivai D. Welcome to the session on Java Multithreading. In this session, we are going to look at how to solve producer and con consumer problem using the blocking queues. So, uh, in the previous session, I explained about um, I, in the previous session, I explained about how to solve this problem using the wait and notify methods. But Java provide uh, the another flexibility to working with the con uh, pro uh, producer and consumer problem using the blocking queues. So by default, what happens is um, these blocking calls are internally using the locking mechanism. It is going to make sure that whenever uh, an operation is performing on this blocking queues, if uh, if there is no uh, if it reaches the maximum elements, then it will keep on waiting until it uh, some other uh, until some other thread is removing the elements from the queue. At the same time, if it is an empty, also it is going to make sure that uh, the thread will keep on waiting for two element uh, elements. Keep on waiting for the elements needs to be added to the queue. So hence, by default, the blocking queues implementations are going to use uh, use this locking mechanism to make sure that. Whenever uh, and a thread is trying to access, uh, uh, when multiple threads are trying to access for the elements, if there is no elements available in the queue, then the consumer thread will keep on waiting. And at the same time, the producer thread is, is trying to keep on producing and if it is, uh, reaches the max elements of the queue, then it the producer will, uh, thread also keep on waiting until the consumer thread is um, trying to consume the elements so this is the basic uh, is, uh, the basic concept behind uh, using the blocking queues so in this session what we are going to see is how to implement the producer uh, producer and the consumer problem using the blocking queue we are going to see so blocking queue is a uh, interface it has a um, different type of uh, uh, implementations we have so we are going to see one of the uh, implementation that is array blocking queues we are going to use and we are going to uh, solve producer and consumer problem so i am opening my eclipse and i am going to create a class called producer consumer um, producer consumer demo demo one and I would like to have a main method in this class so I am using so here the shared resources now it is going to be the blocking blocking queue blocking queue so here i am providing this as a integer and uh, i'm giving as a blocking queue equal to a new array blocking queue i am going to specify the initial capacity as a 10 that means now producer thread is come uh, keep on adding the elements to the blocking queue once it reaches the maximum of 10 then it is going to wait the uh, wait for the consumer thread to consume those elements from this blocking queue once that is done again the producer thread is keep on producing the elements so the same thing will happen the consumer thread is trying to keep on uh, take the elements from the blocking queue and once it reaches the uh, if does not have any elements in the blocking queue then what happens is the consumer thread is keep on waiting for the elements uh, to be added to that queue okay now here Again, the same same way, we are going to have the two um, two threads. One is for the producer thread, and another one is going to be the consumer thread. But here, the implementation is going to be very simple because we no need to take care of like a wait and notify methods here because the blocking queue itself it will be internally using the locking mechanism to make sure that whatever the functionality we have achieved through the wait and notify already taken care of it okay now public void produce int high here what what we are going to do is um okay one more thing we need to use this shared object in this producer class equal to null 
and we are going to create a constructor in the producer class using the fields okay now in the producer what i am going to say is system.out.println producer thread produced element I, I and i am going to add this element to the queue blocking queue dot add i okay so that's all and once add uh, you can put some sleep here thread dot sleep uh, for 100 milliseconds and uh, we as this is going to throw the null point exception uh, sorry uh, interrupted exception we need to throw interrupted exception okay what all i need to do is i need to write the logic to here while true it is trying to keep on elements uh, adding the produce the elements i here we need to know what is the i right so that is the reason wait int i equal to zero and every time when it is trying to keep on the uh, when every time the loop writes it is going to iterate here what we need to do is we need to catch the <clears throat> catch the interrupted exception okay so that's all about uh, how we are going to produce the producer thread okay class producer because previous example is still there so let me comment out this one okay so in this case i have completed the producer uh, thread and the similarly what we need is the consumer thread so in the case of consumer thread the implementation is going to be almost same consumer and uh, this uh, we need the constructor also consumer and then here instead of produce what we need to call is consume and here consume consume here uh, what we are going to do is remove the elements from the queue so in order to remove what is the method we are going to use for the blocking queues is blocking queue dot take dot take okay so this is the one which is going to remove the element from here so we will say consumer thread consumed element whatever the element we have taken that is what it has consumed and here we are going to delete this one and also uh, we have put the 100 uh, millisecond as sleep here okay so now it is keep on trying to add the uh, to keep on take the elements from the queue and whenever it reaches the zero then it, uh, it will keep on waiting sorry it is consumer thread take and also here one second so instead of add we need to uh, put as a put method because what happens is if we implement the add then if uh, some thread is trying to um, trying to if already uh, blo uh, already blocking queue is full then if you're trying to add the element it is going to throw the some different exception like interrupted exception there so that is the reason what we need to do is put so put what it is going to do even if the blo uh, blocking queue is full then it is going to wait until uh, the consumer thread consume the element and then it is trying to add the elements that is the only difference so now i implemented the producer and consumer now we need to call from here thread thread one equal to new thread of runnable object we need to new producer blocking queue and uh, similarly we need to create a thread 
2 which is going to take the consumer consumer uh, runnable interface now we are going to start the thread one dot start the same time thread two also start now we will monitor the output so that's all now we are going to run this output right click run as java application now if we see here producer thread is trying to keep on producing at the same time uh, consumer thread is keep on consuming okay so this is how uh, the producer and consumer problem can be hued using the blocking queue implementations also so as this is we have put the 100 uh, milli 100 milliseconds that is the reason this is running this much fast but if you want to see a little bit of clarity output then uh, what i am going to say here is producer uh, producer um, thread we are going to say 100 um, uh, milliseconds but for the consumer thread let it um, put like 500 so that now we can see now we can see the output as like this now if you see here producer third will be done a little bit fast and then the consumer thread is trying to consume whenever consumer thread is consuming produce thread is keep on producing the elements so that is uh, how we can uh, solve producer and consumer problem using the blocking queues hope you are clear with the concept and uh, if you have any questions please comment on my youtube video and uh, please do subscribe to my youtube channel to get more technical videos thanks for watching